I'm doing another book review today, and the book I want to review today is Mysterious America by yeah. Lauren Coleman. The name Lauren Coleman might sound familiar if you grew up watching the show Lost Tapes, a show that explores the possibility of the existence of creatures not yet documented by science. Now, as someone who grew up watching that show, and as someone who was has always been fascinated by supernatural creatures, this book was a must read for me. And even though it was slow at some parts, and I wondered where Lauren Coleman was going in some places, it was pretty fun because it just makes gets you wondering. Basically what this book's ta book talks about is all the unexplained activities have happened throughout America, be they UFO sightings, Bigfoot, Jersey Devils, I think even brings up Wendigo and the Wendigo and how that could possibly exist. He like interviews witnesses of these creatures. It gets you to believe. It it's very open minded at the at all of these things and asks says you know hey maybe there is something strange going on and maybe there is wonder in this. Another place. mysterious my, one of my favorite mysterious events in these books that he brings up is. <coughs> <clears throat> um, the Mad Gasser of Mattoon, who was, which was a series of gassings that, that took place in my home, home state, in the town of Mattoon, and the peculiar thing was, even though the effects of the a gassing were evident on the victims, and even though, despite the countless, some. Um, you know, testimony to the gas man's attack, or whatever you want to call him, the mad gasser. Still, there was never any evidence of not only any gassing, but also any person, aside from a couple of witnesses of a man in a gas mask, who was usually seen fleeing from the scene of the crimes. The only person to find any physical evidence of the mad gasser is a woman named Beulah Cords, who found this piece of cloth on the front of her house, in front of her house, and when she smelled it, she reported the same symptoms as the other gassing victims, including paralysis and vomiting. But when it was sent in, here's the cra even what's even crazier, when it was sent in for testing at a university, they came back with no um, evidence as to what kind of gas it could be. And the mad gasser still hasn't been found to this day and they have the the fed the not the feds um who is it the charge the, the pub the media the media that's who it is has since covered up as mass hysteria but that still doesn't explain the cut screens of the victims who claim to be attacked so yeah if you're interested in the real supernatural horrors of this world or um you know the s stuff such as the jersey devil and whatnot um I highly recommend um, reading Mysterious America, and also check out Lost Tapes if you haven't, because despite how over the top that, the fact that that show is, is over the top, it's still pretty good. Don't forget to like and sub for more content.